Good morning everyone. I'm back with my collection obsession and today I've got Tegan and it's so funny because I said oh do you have any fall photos <laughs> and probably within a five minutes she <laughs> has sent me these photos of her in a pumpkin patch and I, I wrote back to her and I said did you just run out and get those pictures just for me <laughs> she just laughed oh, that's so cute so um, I'm going to kind of arrange these onto this burlap paper that came in the basic book two background neutrals and I love these because well burlap is one of my favorite things like to use as a um, background or and it's really cute to mat with so I'm going to be using these um, I you know I've mixed the two kits together I have very little of the golden days left this is from the golden days and this is from the cozy evening and so um, I'm gonna hop right into it but before I do I'm gonna do a um, drawing. I made these flare and I'm going to use these two so I'm going to keep these out here but um, I made two sets of flare each set has eight in it and I'm going to give the two sets away um, you just need to leave a comment um, maybe what's your favorite thing to do in the fall leave a comment down in the bottom and, um, and make sure you like it and somebody will get these but I'm gonna use these ones and this one says pumpkin please and this one is just a regular pumpkin uh, I kind of lift them up so you can see them a little better and I'll have close-ups at the end and well of the ones that are left but um, I'll have a whole new set for whoever wins it and I'll probably do the drawing in two weeks because with Thanksgiving and, and I have a, a birthday and everything so well, I don't have a birthday, but I'll be going to a birthday party. So, I figure it'll just be easier <laughs> if I don't try to do it um, in the midst of all that. Okay, I'm just going to do this because I know I'm overlapping them in the middle, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to kind of kind of stick this up in here, but I want just a little bit of that to show. Ah, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll regret putting that there okay and I'm just gonna guess if it's straight because it doesn't really matter and um, I'm just gonna overlap them a little and I don't want them perfectly overlapped and the this picture right here it's like I had to look twice to see if it was her or her mom because <laughs> they look so much alike it's so funny because her older sister looks like her dad and she looks like her mom. I think it's so funny how and um, and it's so funny because I look like my mom and my daughter looks like me and I always ask her, I said, is it scary knowing them what you're gonna look like when you grow older? <laughs> okay, I think, well, I don't want it totally straight so I'm gonna pull it over just a little bit more okay I think that's good and then I am going to tape this to one side and I was trying not to use this um, painted wood again but it's like I just have to <laughs> what can I say I just have to it just it looked the best it's so funny because I kept putting these pictures on here and then when I put them over here it's like ah, they just came to life I mean you can you can really see it it's like you know I'm just covering up this or you know this because I mean I had all these papers here with this but when I took and put it on the turquoise it just brought it to life so that's what I'm gonna do okay now that should be straight 
but of course I've lost my invisible ruler. And I have two invisible rulers over here. I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't even know why it was over there. Okay, I just want to make sure it's straight. It seems like um, right now, everything is, it seems like there's so much stuff going on. My, um, her sister, she was born, well, she was born, let's see, right after Thanksgiving, but, you know, depending on when Thanksgiving falls, she's either, I think she's had her birthday once on Thanksgiving, and then um, sometimes, you know, she's after Thanksgiving, sometimes before. So, it's always a busy time of year, and now I have a grandson whose birthday is next weekend, so it's like busy, busy, busy. Okay, I want to make sure. I'm trying to get the most pink out of here rather than the darker colors, and I can see the pink here and pink here, so I'm trying to think. Maybe I want it that way. I mean, either way, you're going to see some of it. You kind of put that way because this just looks heavier. So I think that will be better at the bottom. And I cut it this piece. I was just going to like just cut a piece like seven inches and just put it underneath there. And I thought, well, this paper is so heavy duty. I would have so much weight <laughs> if I had all these layers in here. So I thought I'm just going to trim it down to the an inch and a half and just tuck it under about a half an inch. And it's straight. I'm not even going to measure if it's right on. <laughs> okay, and then um, here's the pictures of, and see how this looks just like um, cardboard here. It's so funny. But I probably would never use that because I really like the burlap look. Okay, and so I think I'll probably put this. I like to see this um, knot in the wood. And I don't think I'll be covering it up. So I think I'll try to show that. And let me see if I'm straight. Okay. And um, I'll tell you, I'm down to not, you know, it's like I had used pumpkins um, in the first layout I did with these collections. Well, the one, I don't even think it had pumpkins in it. Um, I think just the, oh, maybe they both had pumpkins in it. I don't know, because I had already used, a, well, I had used almost all the golden days. And then the other one I had used, um, some of that too because I had already made one one thing with it so okay so I'm going to put the title right around here and do I want to I think I'll try not to overlap the the picture so I think I'll have it right about here and I think I'll pause it to do this because that way I'll just, it'll, it'll be faster for you. <laughs> be the same length for me. <laughs> okay, I've got the title down. And I was going to overlap this, but I thought I can get it all to fit on there. So I'm just going to do that. And now I've got um, one of the turquoise pumpkins. And I think this is from the... <laughs> Um, cozy evening. Okay, because I think that was the one that where there was, I don't know, they both had turquoise in them. It's like, they, that's why they work so good together. It's like, okay, I can use whatever I want. <laughs> so I'm going to put the one pumpkin right here overlapping the picture. And then, um, I love acorns. I wish they would do a whole sheet of these. I'm going to suggest it. Because <laughs> I could... I could use acorns on lots of pages. I love them. And I know I already used a bunch in one of the other ones. So 
so I'm just going to tuck this right underneath that one. Oh, I don't want it so much of it covered up. So about right there. And then I have the little bird. I love the little birds too. Hmm. Oh, this is this looks like the birds that were in my tree the other day. It was like the brown colors and it had and it was so fat like this and they had the white belly. I took a picture of it, but it just kind of blended in with the tree, so not a whole lot I could do about that, especially from the window because it's like if I would have went out there, it would have just scared him. Okay, and these, I don't think I said anything before. These were a package of leaves I bought at Hobby Lobby last year, and, um, and I think they had them like 90% off or something. I mean, it was just ridiculous. So I, I bought um, three packages, but kind of wish I would have bought more because I love them. And I, um, I gave a set to my friend. Oh, that is not working. So I guess I will not be taping it. I could have swore I taped them before, but maybe not. And look, it just pulled the paper right onto the tape. <laughs> so, I know I um, used the, um, some of these on a layout for my friend's um, grandson. I was helping her do the, her, his graduation paper, pictures. She's like, oh, you gotta help me with my with the graduation pictures. I'll tell you, I wish I would have been um, doing the. Wish I'd have been filming when I when her other grandson graduated. We did a GQ page for him. It was so cute, and he always looks like such a fashionista, <laughs> or you know, he was so he's so fashionable that um, he always looks spectacular. <laughs> it's like. I said, yep, he would be in GQ for sure. Okay, and my, um, my flare, I usually put them on with these dots. Um, and I know that, and these are from Hobby Lobby too, and they actually have big ones that would fit in there where I had to use three of these. Now I'm going to tuck this one kind of underneath the one leaf. Just a little and then I'm gonna go down here and work in this little spot so I've got a diagonal design going now this if if you haven't seen me do this design before this is my favorite this is my go-to design I love a vertical and I when I had you know I told you I've tried every paper on this when I was trying to lay it out and um, and one time I had it done vertically but this is truly my favorite layout. It's just, a, to me, it's like it just is, I don't know, I just like it. It's just one of those things. Okay, I thought for sure I was gonna have a whole bunch of paper <laughs> stuck on there. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this stem because otherwise it'll be hard to glue later. I should have did on that one too. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna cover up part of the picture Oh, and I think I'm going to glue this down a little because otherwise I'll be wishing I had. So I'm going to have a lot of stuff right up going on right here. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna tuck it up close to here and I probably want a dimensional underneath there. If it's not already glued down, let me put one here. I think using the tweezers will be faster and then um, I, I can't get the thing off. It's like, let go. Okay. I think this goes right here. So this will go right here and that should do it. If I can get the tweezers to like 
Let go, tweezer. Sometimes you just gotta talk to it. <laughs> Yell at it a little. Okay. So there we go. And then um, the other, the little white pumpkins. Um, I love all the different colors of pumpkins. And I don't know if they're really grow those colors. I don't know because you know, we have all these other squashes and everything. I mean, we had a squash this year that was a spaghetti squash, shaped like a spaghetti squash, but the color of a, um, color of an acorn squash. It was so weird. And the inside, it was debatable whether it was a spaghetti squash or the acorn squash because it was kind of, it's kind of like both because it wasn't really spaghetti, spaghetti-like. Okay, so I'm going to um, put one right here and then I'm just taking another color and I'm kind of alternating them because I want them to look like they just fell there, which is, you know, not realistic. <laughs> but they, they look real, so I'm thinking, okay, I just have to kind of strategically place them to look like they accidentally fell like that. And then um, I've got one of the flowers, and I think this was from, this one was from the Golden Days, and it looks like hydrangea. Like a hydrangea. this under here. Now that I got that foam in there, I probably won't, I think I want it to kind of, well, like this. So maybe I'm going to have to cut off a little bit because it's kind of want that one angle. So I don't really have to cut off too much to get to that. This is kind of the angle I wanted at just because of the way the flowers go. Okay, and then I have the dark brown leaf. I just want to pick up that tape and just tape it down. Am I still on the camera? Yeah. And I'm going to turn this like this. Again, I'm trying to give the illusion that it just fell like that. And they're, they're kind of beat up, so they kind of look like they've been, you know, on the ground out here for a couple of weeks <laughs> at least okay and I'm gonna put this make it look like it just kind of fell right down here by the title I, I actually did just drop it there and it's like oh that's a spot And now because I was using all the acorns, I think I'm going to put him up on dimensional too. I had to also use the squirrel because I didn't want the acorns to be all gone and the squirrel to still be here because then I would feel sorry for him that he didn't have any food. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to tuck him right down here by the hydrangea. And I, so I have the other little acorn. This is the, my last acorn in this, these collections. I have no idea which one it was in. I think it was in the cozy evening, but I don't remember for sure. Because right now I have them, everything just mixed together. And I'm just going to stick it down here by these leaves. And then I have the other one that, the other flare that says pumpkin please. Because it looks like she's looking for a pumpkin. But for all I know, she could have said 
Stop the car! I need to have my picture taken in this pumpkin patch. <laughs> my husband's laughing because that's what he, when I told him, I said, so do you think um, they're looking for pump, she's there looking for a pumpkin or do you just think that she was, um, or do you think it was a photo shoot and he goes a photo shoot. <laughs> so I got that there. And I'm going to put my lid on my glue real quick because I don't want to dry it out. I don't know, I think my favorite thing is the leaf that accidentally actually fell there, so that's fun. Okay, and then um, I have these enamel dots that look like, um, they almost look like water drops, but these ones are kind of a pumpkin orange, so I am going to use them. And where do I, I think I'm going to stick one in here. And then I'm going to stick a couple up here by this leaf. Like maybe it's just a little raindrop. Or dew drop by the leaf. Um, when we were outside the other day, I don't remember where we had been, but um, we had, uh, we had been someplace and when we came home, I looked down and there was, ah! I lost my enamel dot. Um, I looked down and there was um, one of these kind of leaves. Are they an oak leaf? And um, it had like all this dew on it, like just all this water drops on it. And it was just so pretty that I just had to take a picture of it. And I don't know, I might just have to scrap it. So, let's see, does that look like it's got enough on it? I love it. Okay, so that's it. Remember, if you want to be in the drawing for the, um, the pumpkin flare, then um, give me a like and comment what's your favorite thing to do in the fall. And I will have close-ups of these at the end and, of course, the layout, just like always. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.